Welcome editors! You're watching a brief training video intended to give you a comprehensive look at how to edit using Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, the best way to learn it, of course, is to get your hands on the program and actually use it. Uh, this short series of friendly screencasts, along with the workshop outline and any other materials we come up with, uh, will serve as both a first look at the program and as a reference as you start to get into using the program yourself. Getting around on a Mac is easy, so if you're more familiar with Windows systems, let me assure you that this is not going to be a challenging transition. Let's start with the dock and the finder. The dock is found along the bottom of the screen. You can use this to open Final Cut Pro or any of several other apps, or to switch between apps that you currently have open. Open the finder window using the icon on the far left side of the dock. The Finder allows you to browse the contents of any hard drive connected to your computer. Some Final Cut editors may not encounter the Finder much at all, but it's good to get familiar with it early. Use the View buttons to change between List, Column, and other types of views. In Column View, you can click on a folder to see its contents in the next column. On a Mac, you will use the Command key for all those handy shortcuts you're probably already familiar with, things like copy and paste, and everyone's favorite, undo. As with any keyboard modifier, to use the command key, you hold it down, then press the keyboard shortcut you want while holding the modifier, then release both. The other modifier keys you might use in Final Cut are Shift and Option. Let's go back to the Finder. The left column of the Finder shows different drives and locations for you to browse and find things in, but the one you'll really use is your own hard drive. Everything you do on CCTV computers is saved to an external drive that you supply. External hard drives come in a portable enclosure with USB or another type of connection. Uh, in other words, hard drives that require you to open the computer to install it will not work here. Be sure to eject your hard drive before unplugging it every single time. Just right click the name of the drive in the finder and choose eject. CCTV provides external hard drives in the training room for the purpose of teaching classes. These are not loaner drives however, so they can't be checked out for use on your project.